What's up, YouTube? So I, I had a little bit of a change in plans for the breeding of my angelfish. Um, as you guys know, I had two of them in uh, this 15-gallon tall that are no longer in here anymore. Um, there's a there's there's a local um, a lady um, here in Edmonton, a local um, a person who breeds uh, angelfish, and. Um, they, they they weren't pairing up, so what I did is I brought them to her house, and she's going to uh, pair one of mine up with, with one of hers, which is really awesome. She's a really nice lady. It was uh, fun, and uh, hopefully I can get a video of her uh, whole setup one day, because it's pretty legit and really cool. Um, again, more on that later. Um, but, um, so they're they're gone now. And they're uh, they're um, pairing up with one of hers. Hopefully, I'll uh, have some within maybe a couple of days. I'm not too sure how long it's going to take. And then um, I'll uh, have some breeding action. A few tips for you all: um, large leaved plants work well for them to breed on. Um, slate would be better. I might get some of that. And um, actually, it's it's not recommended to do a huge water change. Just to do like a 10% um, as it can kind of mess up the pH and actually can um, make it less likely for them to spawn. So that that's a quick, that's uh, three quick tips for you all. And um, yeah, more on this later uh, as, um, as it all happens for me. But this is a really cool experience and I hope I, I'll eventually get some babies out of this. So uh, yeah, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Later.